just over the San Jacinto Mountains in the desert region of California is the Salton Sea, covering a surface area of 325 square miles, making it the largest lake in the entire state. Our story of the modern Salton Sea begins in 1905 when engineers were building an irrigation canal from the Colorado River to the Imperial Valley. And that was a, a time, a year of particularly heavy runoff on the Colorado. And it uh, breached the irrigation system. And for about two years, the water drained from the Colorado River into the Salton Sea Basin. During the 50s and 60s, the Salton Sea became a popular tourist spot. But what was considered to be a miracle in the desert quickly turned into an environmental disaster. But what's happened over time is that this depression that is the Salton Sea Basin, water flows in, but the only way that it can leave is through evaporation. And so the components that have come in from all this agricultural runoff have become more and more concentrated over time. The fish are dying off because of the increasing salinity and the decreasing amounts of oxygen. That's affecting the ability of the birds to feed on them because there are fewer of them. And so other organisms that previously, when the water quality was better, were happy in the soil and sea are dying off as well. The overall ecology is changing because the, the chemistry of the water is changing. And over the longer term, one of the biggest risks, of course, is the fact that there will be very large contributions of dust. The Salton Sea has long been a problem with no definitive solution, but the promise of lithium, a renewable energy source found in the geothermal brines below, ignites hope for the area. Lithium is the third element on the periodic table and it's the lightest of all the metals. Um, and we use metals in batteries because their ions can carry and concentrate uh, electrical energy. For things that need to move around, like vehicles and laptops and the smartphone, we use light batteries like lithium ion batteries. They're really the, the, the best solution for mobile devices. The Salton Sea lies in a unique geological setting that makes it possible for lithium to be present. Uh, the existence of hot geothermal brines beneath the Salton Sea has been known since the 1960s. But back then, the, the price of lithium was not high. Lithium batteries had not yet been developed, and so there wasn't a lot of impetus to extract lithium out of those brines at that time. The amount of lithium below the Salton Sea region is so high, government leaders now refer to the area as Lithium Valley. There's somewhere between one and six million metric tons of lithium metal in that brine reservoir, and that would make it the largest brine deposit of lithium known in the world. There's certainly enough lithium in, in that geothermal reservoir to supply um, probably on the order of at least half a century of lithium production. Lithium is currently being extracted in other parts of the world from hard rock mines or large evaporation ponds. The geothermal extraction method is seen as having a much smaller environmental footprint. As that brine comes up, it, it boils because of the drop in pressure and they use the steam from that boiling brine to turn the turbines to make electricity. Um, they then re-condense that steam by cooling it and combine it with the spent brine and, and inject all of that back into the reservoir. So to pull the lithium out, you just need to add an extra circuit to the already existing power plant that filters out lithium. But if you look at how we mine lithium in the rest of the world, um, the, the geothermal way of extracting lithium is environmentally much more friendly. It is anticipated these extraction plants will bring in many economic opportunities for the struggling area. In order to um, run lithium extraction facilities at a commercial level, um, the companies down there are talking about hundreds of jobs, and these would be STEM jobs, very well-paid jobs for people down there. And then the other component of, of the job potential is battery manufacturing. So it probably makes the most sense to start manufacturing batteries where you're producing the lithium. Batteries are really kind of the currency of the future energy economy, to be honest with you. And lithium is at the heart of that. And this is important for people to realize. We're talking about bringing up an element that will potentially help solve not only our energy, crisis, but do it in a clean way and mitigate against CO2 release, which is the biggest problem the world faces right now. 
Researchers are still looking for a solution to the issues brought on by the Salton Sea, but are hopeful that this newfound attention to the area will bring some relief.